Well, so much wooden spoon speculation in the off-season and it's been silenced by a round one ripper. The Dragons simply too good under new coach Shane Flanagan for the Gold Coast Titans on the weekend. Gus, been listening to your podcast Six Tackles of late and you've been ranting and raving on about your confidence in the Dragons being nowhere near last place and you've been vindicated. Yeah, I said I would walk from Wollongong to Belmore if they ran last. I couldn't believe all the commentary that the Dragons... I've been saying for several years they've got a lot of good players in that roster. They're a big, strong, experienced side and they've just got to be pointed in the right direction and they're certainly pointed in the right direction at the moment. They just overpowered the Titans. Um, ben Hunt was outstanding and the fullback, well, he just took uh, advantage of all the things mm. that were created in front of him. It was really good. And they just need to get more consistency out of their fullback uh, and the team as a whole now for, for those Dragons yeah. fans that have been dealt plenty of blows in recent years, Gal. 100%, as Gus said, the, the forwards were good. They controlled the, the middle of the park and done their job there and, and the spine, Hunt, Flanagan, Little... Uh, and Slain Slam was great. I mean, Slain slowed his moments where he made some errors and, and he's going to have his moments throughout the year. He's only young. He's, you know, he's probably got to get used to week in, week out and that toughness of, of first grade. And once he gets used to that, uh, he'll be a great player. But I, I was really happy to see their spine combine. Um, little little great buzz had done me half year. So they did well. I always knew Flano would tough them up you know, defence-wise. They're, they're definitely going to be a tougher side than what they were last year up in the past couple of years. But I think the most pleasing thing for Dragons fans is the fact they scored 28 points, you know, against a side, you know, who many tipped to sort of push towards that top eight. Uh, they did have a number of players out. They obviously had, um, you know, Fallon was out for feeder out, Campbell was out. So a lot of their spine was out as well. They had a pretty inexperienced spine there themselves. Uh, but for the Dragons to score 28 points, I thought it was a great start of the season for them. Gal, yeah, you've been coached by Shane Flanagan. Can you explain to us... What he does, how he, well, what the secret to his coaching method is. I mean, you, you mentioned toughness, but is it more than that? Yeah, for, for me, for me, he, um, he, ma- he made me want to play for him, and I think I think that's important as a player. You, you got to want to play for your coach. You got to want to put your body in the line for the coach and and bleed for your coach. And that's that's one thing he always done to me. He always took a personal interest in, in his players. Uh, look, there's obviously guys that you have to get rid of over time and probably don't like him, he didn't like that. But for me personally and for other players at the club, he, he took a personal interest in it, in us and um, just makes you want to play for him. And he's just he's a real tradesman-like person. He works hard, he's in there, he's the first person in there, he's the last person to leave every day. People see that, people see the work that he puts in and it makes you want to play for him. It's easy to forget too the impact he can have on a team, Seems so how long he's been out of the game with the Sharks, came back through that manly system and... Uh, it seems to be working. At least one match in Gus under Coach Flanagan. Yeah, and I'm quite sure he's wanting to make up for lost time as well. He's been out of the head coaching role for some time now, so uh, he'd be desperate to get this season off to a really good start and to make his stamp there. And he's got some players that he's dealt with before. But what I like about it is that they're a big, strong side. And if they're pointed in the right direction and play the right type of football, it can play into their advantage, particularly in this competition. And you showed that the other night. If the opposition were a little bit off their game, Dragons were just too powerful and too consistent over the 80 minutes, and that's enough to win early games in this season. He's, try, he's trying to keep a lid on it. I know. He's, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's trying to keep a lid on it. He's, uh, it's only one round in, as, as he knows. But uh, Well, I think the Titans will be disappointed the way they turned up for round one. Yeah, I think they will. They, had, they had players out, as you saw. Yeah, well, they'll get yeah. better in the coming weeks. And, and there were some disappointing performances in the round, but... The early rounds are like that. Like you, you don't get it right in round one. Uh, you can turn it around very, very quickly in round two. So um, those teams that probably disappointed themselves in their first outing will be bet- all the better for the experience. Um, and Dragons got off to a fast one. The, the, the Titans were pretty good. They had so many errors. Particularly just after half time, they gifted the, like errors like this. Just coming out of their end. That was not long after half time. That one just gifting the Dragons field position and ball. It's just you can't make them. So the, the early part of the season, you've got to have a decent completion rate to win games, and they just didn't have anywhere near required the other night. We saw that from Newcastle. We saw that from Penrith. Is yeah, round one symptoms? We saw it from the Broncos. Look, I, I often say you can't play your round 15 football in round one. And the ones that played the round one football came out on top uh, in this particular round. Um, you know, sometimes some teams get a little bit excited. They get out there and they try to show you everything they've achieved during the off-season and try to put it all into effect in one go. Mm. As Paul said, if you can hold on to the ball, control the ball, kick, chase, tackle, you're going to wear down a lot of teams in the early part of the season, particularly in the heat when the ball's a bit slippery and your timing's not 100% right. And those teams that played the perfect round one style came out on top.